Tom, first of all, just uh, give me your reflections on that game at Somerset. Obviously, it's always great to beat a local rival. The first time in a little while, what was the mood like after that game? Uh, there was probably a sense of relief, to be honest, because um, there's a few people in that dressing room that probably have never beaten Somerset, myself included, Michael Klinger included. Um, it's certainly been a number of years, two or three years probably, since we've beaten them. So, in a way, it was a fantastic win to get us back on track and, and try and sort of press for this quarter-final position um, and get back to winning ways. Yeah, it's um, probably a case of winning every game left now, but it is in your own hands, that's a positive. The boys are still confident in making the quarterfinals. Yeah, I think even the you know the ones we've lost over the last three or four games have been so close. You know they could have gone either way, and so you know had we have won a couple of them, we'd be right up the top. So we're playing good cricket. We just got to get over the the final hurdle almost. So um, yeah, definitely we're really confident going into Cheltenham, two big wins there, and then going away to Glamorgan. Um, it's certainly in our own hands. And uh, just give us your thoughts on your own form. You had a fantastic year. I think top wicket taker in the country in T20 cricket. Um, is that down to anything you've done differently this year? Is it just that you're feeling confident? How has it uh, come about? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I've bowled the same way I've bowled for the last two or three years. Um, I think certainly luck has a bit to do with it. You, you know, you put the balls in the same sort of place and sometimes you get wickets and sometimes you don't. Um, but, you know, it's, it's amazing, really. It's, um, it's caught me by surprise, that's for sure. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm really looking forward to it as much as you don't want to look too much individually and you want the team to win. It, I mean, it'd be lovely to finish the group stages as leading wicket takers, sort of a conventional spinner, as it were, you know, no deuce for us or anything like that. So, um, no, it's a, it'll be a, a lovely personal milestone, but also I'd be just as chuffed if we make it to the quarterfinals and I'm not the leading wicket taker. It just takes into the mindset of a, a slow bowler because it, it would seem a fairly daunting prospect facing these big hitters with these giant bats and small boundaries and I guess that'll be the case here at Cheltenham as well. Um, how do you sort of pick yourself up if you do go for a big one? How do you keep your cool out there? Well, I think we, first of all we've been very fortunate. We played on a lot of wickets that have offered a bit of spin. So standing at the end of your mark, you know that the batsman's got to be slightly wary of the wicket and they know they might run past it. I've had quite a few stumpings from balls that have spun. Um, so I've been very fortunate with that. With Cheltenham, though, over the last few years, the 2020 wickets have turned to, as um, offered a bit of spin to spin bowlers. So, yeah, I mean, you just got to play the surface. Um, you know, you got to take the, the rough with the, with the smooth, really, as a spin bowler. You're going to get hit for six, and you just got to try and deliver that next ball as well as you can, um, and take every six with a pinch of salt. Really, um, you're there to provide an entertainment I always look at it and if you're getting hit for sixes you know you just gotta you know be happy with the the crowd being happy I guess. And up to Cheltenham now for the next two T20 games how does playing here differ to playing somewhere like Bristol? Well, the, the dimensions of the ground first of all are obviously um, are a lot tougher for the spin bowler it's a lot shorter squarer um, whereas at Bristol we've had one ginormous side so me and Jack have obviously bowled from the same end all tournament bowled into the big boundary uh, at Cheltenham that's different you know we bowl at both ends we have shorter uh, boundaries square um, so that's going to throw up um, you know a few different things for the spinner but you know it's much like playing away you know you're going to get different dimensions um, and you know the crowd is slightly different um, you know there's always a packed house here uh, at Cheltenham it's brilliantly supported so it's going to be a huge exciting two 2020s. And looking ahead to the, the first one Kent uh, what sort of prospect do they pose for you obviously Sam North East had a terrific tournament uh, Billings will be back having been away from England duty for a bit uh, quite a tough lineup to face. Definitely, you know, Bell Drummond as well has done brilliantly. Darren Stevens is coming in some form. Um, but we did turn them over at Beckenham. You know, we would take a lot of um, pride and confidence from that. That was a really good win against a strong side. Um, and we'll be, you know, playing the same sort of way. Our team won't differ too much, I wouldn't have thought, and neither will theirs. So hopefully that's one that we can certainly uh, take the confidence from the previous game.